this question is taken from isro so this question came in isro 2014 similar question has come in the gate exam also yes this question is different from the isro question there is a small difference the dfa is different so this gate question i will give you as a homework you can try this question yourself okay but let's discuss this isro question what the question is asking the question is saying that this dfa is given to you this dfa is given let s denote the set of this s what is this s this is a set of in this you have eight bit strings in this you have strings of eight length whose second third sixth seventh bits are one first you tell me in this set s how many strings are there can anyone tell me in this set s how many strings are there so remember the question is saying that in this s you have w where length of w is equal to eight and what this question is saying that so basically this string you have one two three four five six so this string you have so let's assume this is your w now the question is saying that second third sixth seventh okay so the question is saying second third six seven so these bits are one okay the question is saying these bits are one so tell me how many strings you have in this set s your sigma is zero comma one this is your sigma already it is saying bit strings okay so you can check so tell me in this set s here you can put zero or one here also you have two choices here also you have two choices and here also you have two choices so finally i can say in this set s you have two power four that is 16 strings remember in this set s you have 16 strings what the question is saying the question is saying how many of strings in s are accepted by m the question is saying that in this set s how many strings are there which are accepted by m from s how many strings accepted by m okay so this is a simple question now let's solve it see this type of question you can solve using the dfa very easily so let's try to solve this question from the dfa you already know that second position should be one basically this type of string you are looking for we are looking for this type of string where this is one this is one this is one this is one okay so our focus should be on this type of string is this clear our focus should be on this type of string and remember we want to accept we want to accept we want to find out how many strings of this type are accepted okay this is our this is our target remember our target is this type of how many strings are accepted okay so this is our target how many of this type of strings are accepted ultimately at the end we want to go to final state so initially in the first position i have choice agree with me okay yes or no here i have choice here either i can put zero or i can put one correct okay so let's start maybe the first position is zero or the first position is one if the first position is one then this type of string you are looking for if the first position is zero then this type of string you are looking for is this point clear okay so let's check so tell me zero one one if you check zero one one then what will happen means if you take zero first you take zero now you take okay so this is what i'm saying let's check this type of string zero one one then dot dot then zero okay so this type of strings let's see okay let's see this type of string so our target is so tell me now if you put zero if you see zero then you will go here if you see one then you will go here if you see another one then you will go here so can i say you are here you are in this state yes or no okay so let me call the states for example a b c d e okay so you are in the state b when you see this symbol at this point at this point you are in the state b okay so now you tell me remember you are in the state b when you see this so 0 1 1 at this point you are in state b now you tell me now what will happen in this state b tell me now remember one thing you can read two symbols you can read two symbols then you need to read one one and then one last symbol one last symbol you need to read so first of all you tell me you need continuously one one you need 
okay two symbols now you are in the state b you now you are standing here now you tell me which symbol you should read if you read zero then you read zero see what i am saying i am saying that from this state b you need to read two symbols this is what you need you need to read two symbols you need to read and after that one one definitely must come okay and here you must be in the final state here you must be in the final state is this point clear so this is the point so tell me two symbols you need to read if you go in this direction from this state b if you read zero means if this symbol you make zero if this symbol i put zero here you already are in b if i read this symbol zero now what will happen then i will go to state a yes or no i will go to state a so you can write like this state a now in this state a if i read one can i ever go to final state in this state a if i read this one if i read this one i can never go to final state because remember one thing remember one thing after this symbol only three choices only three places are there and this should be one one okay basically now you have four right four choices to go to final state okay remember now you have only four choices to go to final state but you are in the you are in this state now now you are in this state a okay so once you read this zero then you are in the state a now you tell me in the state a now can you go to final state what is the minimum string you need to go to final state from a you are in a if you want to go to final state tell me what is the minimum string you need to read what is the minimum string you need to read minimum string you need to read that is 0101 so i can say that this strategy will not work agree with me because now i am saying that see from this b uh, from this state a from this state a if you want to go to final state if you want to go to this to this final state then remember if you want to go here then minimum string that you need then minimum string okay the minimum string that you need is 0101 but i want this type of string so this type of four length string can it take me to final state tell me this type of four length string this type of four length string can it take me to final state no so i can say that definitely this cannot be zero okay is this clear to everyone so this cannot be zero so i cannot go remember from this state b i cannot take this zero so i need to take this one from this state b i need to take this one this is must okay now where i am tell me now i am in the in the state c okay now you are in the state c now tell me in this state c in this state c can you notice i definitely need at least zero one i need in this state c in this state c can i go to state b can i go to state b from this state c now only three uh, sorry uh, only four symbols are remaining this type of strings i am looking for i am looking for this type of string so you tell me from this state c can i go to state b in the direction of state b one symbol will be consumed from this state c if i go to the direction of state b then one symbol will be consumed then i need three symbols minimum to go to final state so if i go to state b then i need 1101 yes or no from this state c if i want to go to final state from the b side i hope you are getting this point see what i am saying 0111 at this point you are in the state c now what i am saying i am saying that if you go to the side of state b means if you take this zero if you sorry if you take this one if you take this one if you take this one now you are in the state b from b to final state you have 101 you need 101 okay you need what you need 101 so definitely i cannot do that yes or no that is not possible contradiction again there is a contradiction so again you cannot go okay so from state c where i can go i can go to where from this state c i can take zero and i can take to state d okay i can take zero now i am in the state d in the state d i need one one i need one one in the state d i need one one so now i am in the state e okay in the state e anything can come yes or no in the state e anything can come so in the state e this symbol this symbol can be zero or one 
this symbol can be zero or one. So I can say two strings are accepted. Can you notice that this type of two strings are accepted? See this type of this type of how many this type of strings are accepted? Two strings zero one one zero one 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 then zero one one the only the only change is in the final symbol. Is this point clear? So these two strings are accepted. Please tell me, did you understand? Is this point clear? See, this is a very, I can say, yes, uh, there is no systematic method here, but very like, uh, I can say the way we have done. Similarly, you can also check it out. The way we have done. Okay. We are checking the possibilities. We are checking all the possibilities. Remember one thing. You cannot miss any possibility. Yes or no? You cannot miss any possibility. If you miss any possibility, then you will lose marks because the options are 0, 1, 2, 3. This question can be analytic question also. They can give you numerical answer type question also. Let's assume options are not there. Okay. It is also possible that there are no options. So you cannot miss any possibility. You need to check all the possibilities. So I'm going step by step. Okay. Very slowly, slowly, step by step. I'm going and I'm checking. Okay. So this direction is over. Now let's see this direction. How many, this type of strings can be accepted one, one, one and so on. How many, this type of strings I can accept one, 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 then one, one, then this. Okay. So this type of strings, how many, this type of strings are accepted. So first you tell me you are doing this one. Okay. Yes or no. Initially from the, this is your state A, this is state B, this is state C, this is state D E. So tell me at this point, there is no choice. See here in these three positions, there is no choice. So tell me where you will go. You will go to one, one, one. That means you are in the state A. Okay. You are also, you are only in the state A. Now see something interesting. This is very easy. Tell me one thing from state A, you are in the state A. If you want to go to final state, if you want to go to final state in five jumps, in five jumps, you want to go to final state in five jumps. So how many five length strings are there? Tell me how many five length strings are there? If you want to go to state E, then how many five length strings? One thing is necessary that you need zero one zero one. Do you agree with me? See minimum. If you notice one thing from state A to state E minimum four length string you need. I can say minimum four length you definitely need. Okay. It means from state a to state E, this zero, one, zero. If you take this zero, then this one. So the point is something like this. See what I'm saying Four length strings you definitely need. Now let's check. So either what you can do from this state A, either what you can do, this is what I'm saying from state A to state E. Let's see five length strings. Just tell me how many five length strings are there, which can take me to this final state. Take me, tell me all the five length strings, all the five length strings. See, either you can do one, then zero, one, zero, one. Either you can do one, then zero, one, zero, one. Either you can do this or what you can do. Are you getting my point? Either you can do this means one and then zero, one, zero, one, or what you can do, or you can do this zero, one, zero, one. But in the middle, you can read this zero. So what you can do, you can do zero, one, zero, and then you can read this symbol zero and then you can read one. Okay. Is there any other choice? Yes. Zero, one, zero, one. Then here you can read zero or one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. And at the end, you can read zero or one. Can you notice none of these strings, they have consecutive one, one. Can you notice this? None of these strings. They are match this. They are matching this. Yes or no? None of them is matching this. Okay. Only these are possible. Only these are possible. And none of them are matching this. Is this point clear? Can you notice? None of them is matching this. If you do this 0, 1, 1. Okay. So this will be a, I can say 0, 1. Then 1, 1. It will be a long way. It will not be a five length string. See, if you do this, tell me if you do this, 
then it will not be a five length string right see zero one then one then one then zero one it will not be a five length string it is not going to be a five length string so only these are the five length string possible which can take you to from a to e from a to e these are the five length strings only these are the five length strings which can take you from a to e these are the five length strings and none of them is of this type none of them has this type of structure so i can say that this type of how many none this type of none accepted none of them is accepted so finally your answer is what answer is two yes or no so your final answer that will be two this will be your final answer this is a very interesting question let me tell you sometimes in the gate exam this type of question will definitely come and already already this type of question has come in the gate exam see this is a gate exam question you can try similar type of question is there okay so this gate exam question you can try i give it to you as a homework you try this question today but this isro question we have done okay is this point clear this question did you understand this question sometimes this type of questions will come in the gate exam definitely at least one question of this type where you have to do systematic analysis did you notice one thing that this method is hit and trial yes or no the method that we have tried is hit and trial yes or no but this was systematic see this is the difference what we have done is systematic okay systematically step by step you do so that you don't leave any possibility uh...